Hello once again YouTube, welcome back to The Domain. I'm back again for the third of four of these analysis videos on the brand new Mega Construct sets coming next year. So if you didn't know already, Mega, uh, actually they didn't drop it specifically, but Amazon and then Entertainment Earth listed a load of these new sets. And usually I would not talk about set reveals or leaks as long as uh, Mega doesn't give me the information, but this time around, there are official listings on websites, so I can absolutely talk about it. And this is also, again, a new video format I'm testing out. I'm modifying all the settings. Basically, it's just a more relaxed way of me recording my screen and being able to interact with you guys, you know, locally, just, just very casually. So today, we're gonna be checking out, uh, and I was thinking about this for a while, there've been two new sets. They're two armory packs, and I thought about doing them both in one video, but I have so much to say, I don't want them to be dragged out too much, so I'm gonna break it down into two separate videos, but this one will be going up, and then only a couple of hours later, the second one will be going up. And yesterday, two videos came live, one looking at this brand new Hornet, Oh my goodness, the UNSC Hornet Recon with Sergeant Stacker and a Covert Ops sort of Halo 3 style ODST. And this Hornet has a gorgeous amount of detailing, like absolutely exceptional. So you can check out my full breakdown yesterday on that and also on this. The UNSC Mongoose Outriders with the goofiest ever Warthog, but I kind of really love it. And it's also got the premiere of the Spartan Yoroi, a, another Scorpion Punch figure, but I still really like it. A Scorpion Punch, Anubis, and then a Zealot and Brute. And this Brute, interestingly, has a Brute Chieftain uh, chest plate. And this is the debut of the Scrap Cannon and the Pulse Rifle and the new mold for the Sidekick and a Cybernetic Leg. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Like, the, Mega's gone all out. They're, they're goated with this line. They, look at the way that Hornet's coming in. Mega's like, all right, we had a successful launch of Halo Universe, now let's come in full charge. Um, and yes, I, I did uh, incorrectly uh, label this uh, little feature as uh, I thought it was some kind of, well, I thought it was some kind of laser, but it's actually the targeting system for the missiles. So thanks to anyone who pointed that out to me. So we have two new sets that have dropped. Uh, and basically I wanna also update the fact that uh, the, there was no pricing on these Amazon listings for the Hornet and for the uh, codename Mudslide. This Hornet was codenamed uh, Snowstorm, but uh, it ended up being uh, ODST or UNSC Hornet Recon. And this one was codenamed Mudslide, and it's actually uh, Mongoose Outriders with this zesty uh, coating, which I, I kind of really do like. Um, yeah, and the confirmed prices on Entertainment Earth. $15.99 for the Mongoose Outriders. It says it's coming in January. I th th These things are always placeholders. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store and um, a couple of the others last year, they, they listed sets to have ludicrous release windows that were just nowhere near by the end. So I wouldn't trust these releases. If you are short on cash and you also live in America, I wouldn't pre-order right now. I just wait until they uh, actually release. But again, if you're abroad, maybe you want to secure that purchase. $15.99 is pretty good. And then the Hornet, $24.99. What a great price for a chunky Hornet. I do love that. I swear the Hornet Blitz was probably $20 or $25, so that's a really good price. Okay, so today we've got this brand new gorgeous two-pack. The Decisive Engagement and Bizarre Battleground. They look Awesome. So what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on the decisive engagement. Uh, I say today, uh, and then we're going to have another video in a couple of hours time looking at the Bizarre Battlegrounds. Um, I've done a lot of research on this, on the different AIs included, different helmets, uh, some of the chests I'm still a bit lost on, but I mean, it's... It's actually frustratingly difficult to find information online. Even if you go to Halopedia, they don't have just like decisive lists of all the helmets and things. It's, it's kind of frustrating like that. So we're a little bit in the dark, but I've done a bit of research. A couple of my patrons and a couple of my staff members on Facebook and Discord have helped me out and I got the information we need. So let's check it out. First of all, I just want to say on behalf of the community, it's great to have these uh, armory packs back. We've had so many and I'm actually going to run down a load we've had in the past at the end of this video but it's just so great to see them return like they're such a good quality uh high value like well good, bang for your buck 
Uh, you get a good value for your money here, like all those different helmets and figures. A lot of people say, well, now I need to buy three of these. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe if you want to do that, but like, I I'm personally not going to buy three of these. Uh, I do want to note that these don't come with uh, weapon crates, like a lot of the ones in the past have, but I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. It does come with a fun little structure. Check this out. And the first thing you got to notice, ah, oh, the AIs, man, that's so sick. Ah, oh, Butler and Luma. Uh, they, it's it's so great to see that the AIs have actually come to uh, the Mega Constructs line. We got an AI in uh, one of the more recent, was it the Fiesta helmet? It was one of the helmets recently, but it wasn't quite to the same standard as these. These are properly molded, or at least properly printed. Uh, I mean, obviously that's just a standard brick with printing on it, but this maybe is a little bit of a custom brick. Oh no, actually. That's probably, yeah, that's a standard stud, but still, it's great to see. It's great to see. So we got two Spartans duking it out in this decisive battleground. Comes with a lot of really great armor here. Um, both sets actually come with the same armor, just in different colors, which, you know, there are a lot of armors out there, but it's, it's not the worst thing in the world to me. Okay. We'll start with this guy. Now, I will be looking down at my notes a little bit just to make sure I get all of the uh, names of these armors right, okay? Uh, but the interesting thing is we still don't have a name for this helmet. Like, that's the wild thing. This helmet uh, came out again in one of the helmets. Uh, the helmet came in the helmet. One of the buildable micro helmets. This helmet we don't have um, an actual name for. It's the helmet that Spartan Agarina. Ag Ag Agarina. The uh, Spartan commander at the Johnson Avery Academy uses, but we don't know her armor core yet. Maybe it's uh, an armor core that's not been released yet. I've always speculated that uh, Halo Infinite had a, because of its botched delay and all of the uh, scrapped content, I believe that w what happened was uh, they had a, uh, a full armor core that we've never seen, and um, it was meant to be season one. Uh, but then because of delays, they switched it and they scrapped it and they just did uh, Heroes of Reach because they already had the assets for all the Reach Spartans. That's my theory anyway. So I, I feel like this was meant to be uh, in the game. Meant to be in the game, but uh, never came out. So this is Spartan Agrina's helmet. Uh, I love the rim around it. That's a very nice detail. The uh, goldy bronze visor looks great. Comes with the Ravager. I think we'll see the Ravager in every set now, but it's, it's cool to see. Like uh, the Ravager premiered in the blind bags and now it's here. Like it does look fantastic. And that little Luma. Ah, uh, uh, comment down below which your favorite AI from Halo Infinite is. I, I definitely want to see the uh, the Brutus or the Bassus or whatever he's called. Uh, the the brute AI. I would like to see that. I would also love to see a little superintendent. That would be uh, that would be really nice for me. Uh, yeah, it comes with two plasma grenades. I really like the camo design on this thing. Like, I think yeah, I think it's the exact same print. Uh, well, two different. Th this is the same print mirrored. And then I think it's the same up here. So I think it's the same. I think it's two different prints twice, if that makes sense. There might be a different one on the back. Really like it. Uh, really, really like this design. I don't know why exactly, but it, it's it's really vibing. Really, I'm really vibing with this one. Uh, it looks fantastic. Yeah, he, he, he looks fantastic in general, or she, who knows. Uh, yeah, the decisive battleground. It, it, it's, it's a cool set. It, again, um, the only thing I think it's really missing is a crate or two crates, uh, but that is not a big deal to me. And I do like that barricade a lot. Then uh, we're looking at our next one, the Spartan Anubis with uh, this one's, yeah, it's definitely Butler. I don't want to make a mistake with Butler. Butler is a funny AI to make into a Mega Constructs figure because it's kind of like, it's a very 3D sort of cuboid thing, but uh, this this works, it works. Um, I like the slightly angry eyes. Uh, these AIs will be cute to have next to each other um, and all plain orange. And yes, these are just plain colors. There's not a high amount of detail, um, but it's still, I mean, the limbs do change color halfway through, orange and black, you know? The, the metallic green visor is nice. I, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Uh, then we've got the Hermes Spartan and the Mark VII. I particularly like the silver visor on this Mark VII. I, I think that works really well. And there's a lot of black highlights there. The amount of detail they put on these figures is exceptional. And then we've got the, the chest and the shoulders. And, and I'm not going to try and go all ham in on uh, the shoulders and the chests. You know, uh, I know that this, uh, I, I believe this is a new one, but I, 
there's only so far I want to do my research today, okay, boys? Um, but you can uh, be, you can determine that yourself and uh, find out exactly what uh, entails in these chests and shoulders. Um, I know that most of it we've seen before. This is the interesting helmet, though. Um, let me see. So we've got the trailblazer here, and again, another green visor. So it's nice uh, that those two green visors match. But then we've got this Spartan here, which uh, I had to do a little digging for this one. Uh, it's the Zvezda, uh, Zvezda, Zvezda, with the TAS Drop Tulf uh, <laughs> attachment. Uh, you can see it here. Oh, there's Spartan Agrina, so we can, uh, just for reference, that's the uh, helmet that's unreleased right now. Uh, in terms of in the game, you can't get it yet, uh, but it does look great. Uh, she got Mad Drip. And then, yeah, we got this, this boy here, Zvzzzda. I know it was in the shop a while ago for, I think, a, a magnificent $20. But yeah, the TAS uh, Droktulf. Droktulf uses Thea adjacent technologies to reduce the bulk and complexity of external target acquisition systems. Fair enough. Looks like a really cool helmet. Interesting that uh, Mega went for the, uh, the helmet attachment. Uh, it's not colored, which, you know, it could do with a little light here. But uh, still, it, it looks great. I'm happy that's there. Again, that's only been in a helmet so far, one of the uh, buildable helmets, uh, micro helmets. So yeah, um, all in all, very good figures, uh, very good accessories. And a closer look at all of the blue ones next to each other. Very cool. So uh, to go over it again, we've got this new Spartan Agrina helmet. We got our Mark VII and we got our Hermes. And then up here, we've got this new uh, Zvzda Zvzda. Trailblazer and Anubis. And we're gonna see the Anubis pop up a lot uh, in the future, I think. Uh, yeah, and those AIs, they, they look super cute. They, they really do, I, I like them a lot. That is decisive engagement and I, oh, I didn't even point out one of the things, I don't think it's on that, oh, you can barely even see it. A cybernetic arm. It's fun that uh, that's actually included. I've been talking about that for a while and I mentioned it in a video, I don't know which one, but uh, quite a recent video that uh, Mega should make uh, more cybernetic arms and limbs. I mean, you can have any limb cybernetic in the game. Uh, uh, why not? It's really cool, especially Halo is now doing a promotion with this Limitless company that does cybernetic enhancements for children. Uh, it's great to see uh, the arm. I mean, it's, it's. I don't think it would cost any more for them to produce or maybe fractionally. So we should see cybernetics in, in most sets. And yeah, we, we have the arm there and we have a cybernetic leg in the new uh, Mongoose Outriders. So cool to see, cool to see. Join me in a couple of hours where we're gonna be discussing Bizarre Battleground. But before that, how about a little trip down memory lane? Hey, look at this. The Spartan customizer pack, uh, the Covenant weapon customizer pack. There's so many across the years. Promethean Weapons Customizer Pack, that's one of my personal favorites. The UNSC Marines Customizer Pack, of course, a lot of these are just weapons. This one is uh, one of the first examples, if not the first example of, uh, well, Halo back in the day did do armory packs uh, that came with uh, interchangeable armor and they called it the armory. Uh, but that is a little different from these like two figure packs with uh, with helmets and, and, uh, and armor. This one is one of the first, the Spartan Customizer Pack. Really takes me back, that one. Um, and then uh, these are a lot of like weapon packs. But then the Covenant Armor Customizer Pack is, uh, is another throwback uh, with that really nice Arbiter head mold as well. Exceptional. There weren't that many elites, but they, they definitely did it well in that, uh, in that case. Um, and then we have, uh, ooh, that's a, no, that's a low quality image. That downloaded badly. <laughs> a Spartan Armor Customizer Pack. And of course, the Holy Grail. This is now worth sealed over $100. This is uh, a real prize piece. I have one sealed at home, thankfully. Yeah, this ODST Customizer Pack, exceptional. So thank you very much for tuning in today. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Spartan from this new pack is. Decisive Engagement will release in the spring of next year. I don't think it's, uh, I wouldn't expect it as early as January, but uh, we shall see. And it comes with a lot of good stuff. You know, six helmets, a cybernetic arm, a Ravager, the new sidekick pistol mold, two AIs. It's a decent set. It's a decent set. Uh, yeah, give it a rating out of 10 down below and let me know if you're really excited for this one or what you think it's missing or what you think its best quality is. Shout out to y'all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. See you in a couple of hours for the next breakdown. The Domain is signing off.